Tonight's debate is co-hosted by CBS News. Gail King and Nora O'Donnell will moderate. They will be joined by Margaret Brennan, Bill Whitaker, and Major Garrett. Major Garrett joins us live right now from Charleston. Good morning, Merritt. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Major, um, so tonight... Uh, good morning. How are you? Good, good. Thank you. The last debate in Nevada was highlighted by attacks on Michael Bloomberg. So the question is, will this now shift focus to Bernie Sanders tonight because Bernie comes into this as the front runner? Yes, even though he was in his 70s, Mike Bloomberg was the new kid on the block last week, not the new kid on the block now, trying to make a better second impression than he did his first time. Even his campaign concedes that was an underwhelming, uninspiring, and in some cases, unfocused debate performance. But Mike Bloomberg is not going to be the center of attention. Everyone on the stage not named Bernie Sanders knows that after winning the popular vote in Iowa, winning the primary in New Hampshire and the caucuses in Nevada, Bernie Sanders has the momentum. And a victory here in South Carolina would, in all likelihood, catapult him into the leading position for Super Tuesday and may give him an unstoppable lead in the delegates heading toward the convention in Milwaukee. So the attention tonight is going to shift away from Mike Bloomberg and go on to Bernie Sanders because not just Joe Biden, but Pete Buttigieg, Amy Klobuchar, Elizabeth Warren, all need a strong performance, need to knock Bernie Sanders back on his heels and get voters, not just here in South Carolina, but in those Super Tuesday states, to recalibrate and rethink their thought processes because so far, Bernie Sanders has, in all the previous competitions, done exactly what he wanted to do, win the popular vote and build momentum. All right, Major Garrett, thank you very much. Appreciate it. We'll be watching tonight. You can tune in here on WBZ. We appreciate your input this morning. Thanks. And you can watch the debate right here on WBZ starting at 8 o'clock tonight and then stay with us for reaction and analysis on The Spin Room and then on the WBZ News at 11.